Hey everyone, it's David Herrera here from the Tips Team, and I'm here with another video about Google Vids. Now, before I get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you'd like to stay up to date with all of the videos that we post. We post a video weekly with regards to a variety of different edtech tools, so if you want to stay up to date, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, we're here to talk about how to create our very first video using Google Vids. So, first off, how do I get to Google Vids? So Google Vids can be accessed through one of two different ways. I can open up a new tab and type in vids.google.com and that's going to take me to the landing page for Google Vids. In here, I can see videos that I've previously created or that have been shared with me, or I can just start a new video by clicking on the start a new video button. I can also access Google Vids by in my Google Drive, clicking on new at the top left, like I would to create a new Google Doc or a Google Slide and selecting Google Vids. Now, when I open up Google Vids, this is what I'm going to see. I'm going to see a variety of different templates that I can select. So these templates have been already pre-made that you can select them and choose one which might help you with the video that you're trying to create. They have a variety of different styles and animations. Um, but we actually want to start from scratch. So I'm not going to use any of these templates, but feel free to take a look if you're exploring Google Vids for the first time. Now, first things first, how do we work with Google Vids? Google Vids works in terms of scenes and scenes for Google Vids are like slides in a slides presentation. So in my, uh, in my scene, I can change the length of it. Um, I can add another scene on the bottom right. There's a small blue button that says new scene that'll allow me to add a second scene or three or four or however many scenes I want to have in my video. Now, with regards to adding new stuff onto the scene, it's a very blank template right now. So how do I add content to it? On the right side of Google Vids, we have all of the different things that I can add to my video from starting a template like the ones that we already saw to adding text or shapes or images or stuff that I already have in my Google Drive. We're going to start with some text. And as we can see here, there's animated text that I can add, or there's just simple text titles or subtitles or body text that I can add. So if I click on add a title, we'll see that I have the standard text editing tools here. We're going to write Mexico and you will see why in a second. Um, at the very top, I have a, a bar that should seem familiar to everybody, which are my text editing tools. I can center the text, bold it, I can italicize it, whatever I want to do with that text. We're just going to leave it as is for now. Now let's add a video to it. Um, I've already uploaded some videos to my Google Drive. And so when I click on the button here that says My Media, this allows me to look at the different videos that are posted in my Google Drive. Um, I can also just look through a variety of different folders, but this is what I have in my Google Drive right now. So we're going to add this very first video. When I click on it, you can see that it automatically gets added onto my scene. I can also click and drag and it's going to do the same thing. Um, but because we only want one of these videos, we're just going to leave it like that. Now you'll see that this video doesn't take up the entire scene. If I click on play, the video plays, but that's not what I want. I want it to take over the entire space here. So I'm going to click on the bottom right and drag it so that it takes up the entire space of my scene. But the problem is that now I cannot see the title that I put in that says Mexico. So this might be familiar if you're a power user with Google Slides, but we can right click any portion of my scene and change the order in which they are stacked on top of each other. Think of these as different layers on my video. So if I right click on this video that I've added, hover over order, I can move that video backwards so that the text that I added earlier sits on top. I'm going to send it to the back so that it's part of the background of the scene. We can see that now Mexico sits here. Okay. The title that I had written previously. So I'm going to move down to the bottom of my screen. And this is where we're going to interact with something called the timeline. This is where your scenes live at the very bottom. 
the timeline is where you're going to cut or add different parts of your video. You can add transitions, you can play around with the audio. Um, we also are going to use something called the playhead. And the playhead is this little triangle button with a line in my timeline that allows me to scrub through the video. So I can move to different parts of the video by clicking and dragging on my playhead. We're gonna drag it to the very front of the video and we're gonna hit play and see what it looks like. And there we go. My video is working. I've got a title in front of it, but I don't like the noise that I have sitting in the background. Um, that background noise of the video, I want to change that. Let's just listen to it again. It's a little bit loud and annoying. And so first things first, I want to mute that audio. So I'm going to select the video that I had added. Make sure that you don't select on the text because that's not going to do anything. We want to select the video and you'll see that we have a little menu popping up at the bottom. Okay. So when I click on my video, we have a little menu that pops up at the bottom and what we want to play around with is the sound. So when I click on sound here, I can choose to just completely mute that video and let's see what happens. I'm going to hit play. No audio or instead of muting it, I can just make it very, very quiet. And so again, there's a little bit of noise, but I just want to mute it. I don't need to listen to any of that um, noise. But now my video is a little boring. So how can I make it a little bit more exciting? Well, one of the nice things about Google Vids is that it has access to stock footage, stock videos, stock images, stock music. On the right side, we can see that there's this little button over here that says stock and web. And when I click on it, we'll see videos, images, and music. So I'm actually going to click on music here and select music that fits what I want to show in my video here. So there's deep house cards on the table. I don't know. What about this one? Epic cinematic orchestra. Pretty intense. I like it. I'm going to click and drag and you'll notice that when I drag, it gets added onto my timeline. I get a little icon that shows me that I can add it to my timeline. Now I can add this to any point in my video. I can add it a little bit later like this. And so that the video, when it starts, it doesn't have any music and the music kicks in a little bit later, or I can just click and drag on the audio and bring it closer to the front. Now it starts right as the video starts. Now, maybe I want the video to start with that crashing symbols right at the beginning. You can see that the song has what we call the waveform or when the video, sorry, when the music gets louder, you'll have these lines on the audio being wider. So I'm actually going to right click on the music and there's an option for adjusting the audio timing. So if I click on this, I can now drag when I want the music to start and when I want it to end. I want it to start right during the loudest part. So I'm going to press enter and now I can drag this to the front and let's see how the video starts now. There we go. So just a couple of different ways that I can play around with audio and play around with um, <clears throat> video in Google Vids. Now let's say I wanted to add another scene to be able to make my video a little bit longer. I want to add more stuff to it. I'm going to click on new scene on the bottom right here. And we'll see that we have a blank scene now over here. There's nothing sitting on this scene. So I'm going to add another video by going back to my media. And we're going to add this video over here. Now, this video was filmed in portrait mode, and so it's going to look a little different. It's not going to look exactly the same as one that was filmed in landscape mode. And so I can play around with how I want this to fit into my video. Here we go. Let's watch. 
Now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mute the audio down here for a second, the music, so that I can see what my video looks like. And we can see that okay, there's a little bit of music playing there. Um, and that's nice. I actually want to keep that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stop the music when this video starts. This video starts, if I drag my playhead, it starts right over here at the start of the scene. So you can see when I bring it over here, it switches between my two scenes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to the bottom, I'm gonna right click, and I'm going to split audio at playhead. But I'm actually gonna put my playhead right in between the two scenes here. So you can see right at 8.9, I select the audio, split audio at playhead, and this allows me to now have a different section of the audio. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. I can right click and delete, or I can just press delete. And we'll see here, I'm just gonna turn on the music again because it was muted, that the music will stop once we move on to the next scene. Oh. Let's try that again. It's still muted. Make sure that I muted the right one. Okay, here we go. So there we go, it switches over to the other video. Now that is a bit of a sudden change and so something that I can do is I can transition that audio. So I'm gonna right click again on the audio sound and I can fade this out. When I fade out, I'll show you what happens in a second here. It's going to quiet down as the sound comes to an end. So let's watch. And there we go. It just kind of fades out as the audio is ending. Now, I do wanna add a transition between these two videos. And so I'm gonna click on the little transition button here in my timeline. And we can see that there's a couple of different ways to transition. I can dissolve, I can fade, I can push or slide. There's many different ways that I can do this. I can scale. I'm gonna go with slide. And so it shows you that you can change it so that you slide in from the left or maybe you slide in from the right. It all depends on how you want this to work. I've added my transition. And so now, last thing I need to do, I'm just gonna double check, make sure that my video is good. I am gonna turn down the volume for the music a little bit. It's a little loud. Let's try that. There we go. So nothing too fancy, but this is just how I can very quickly, very easily add different videos, put them together. Um, if I wanted to make this second scene a little bit shorter, cause I don't want to watch, you know, 20 minutes. Um, what I can do is once again, move the playhead to wherever I want to stop it. Um, I'm going to put it right here, right click, split scene at playhead. And now I have two different scenes. I can just go ahead and delete the second one and then my video ends right there. Now, when I'm ready to share this video out, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and click on play. So I can watch my video in full screen if I wanted to share it with somebody um, that is at the same computer as me, or I can also share this so that somebody can collaborate and edit the video with me. So I can click on share, um, it asks for a name before sharing. So I'm going to say Mexico, save, and then I can share it out with anybody within Edmonton Public. Finally, if I want to export this in a video file that I can then upload to YouTube or share onto my Google Drive, or maybe just post to Google Classroom, I can click on file and download as an MP4 or export to Drive. Export to Drive is the easiest way to be able to work with this video afterwards, to be able to share it digitally, to put it on an email or however I want to. And you'll see that it says exporting to Drive. It'll take a little bit of time, so we'll just give it some, uh, we'll give it a little bit of time here. 
Now we can see that it's done. And so it gives me the option of copying the link. This is going to be a link to the video or I can go on open now. And what it's going to do is it's going to take me to Google Drive where the video is located. So a couple of different ways of accessing it. If I go back to my Google Drive, I'll also see that the video that I've created is going to be sitting under vids exports. There's the video that I made. So I can right click and there's my video. So anyways, that is it for today's videos. Stay tuned because we will be releasing more videos about how to work with Google Vids. Hopefully today's video was able to give you some idea about how to get started creating your own videos in Google Vids. Now, don't forget that we post videos weekly on our YouTube channel, so subscribe so you can stay up to date with our videos. But otherwise, have a great day. Take care.